a chance and an opportunity to take a further lead in this. He's in phenomenal form, Paul. You've had the pleasure of racing him over all of these years. Tell me, the man ticks differently, doesn't he? Oh, he does. He operates on a different wavelength to all other athletes, I'd say. I'd, I'd ever trained and raced alongside him throughout my career. But Ali really came out at the start of the season and he said, for a guy with a very long resume, he said, I don't have a summer of surf over a Ironman champion. So he's come out with a vengeance, hasn't he? He's currently sitting on top of the series at the moment and 23,800 points. Behind him is Joey Collins in 21,700. But... He's equally in some of the career best form, I'd say, as well, Joey Collins. Oh, for sure. Joe Collins is the challenger right now, as is Matt Bevilacqua, Zach Morris, Ethan Callahan, Cooper Williams. They're all in the mix. Cooper Williams took out the Manly Open last time out. We get the race one golden ticket, the under-17 fella there, Dane Sutton. He beat out Noah Maggs, who was the winner of the first two race one golden tickets. Joel Piper is in great form there from the Black Swan Academy of Maroochydore. As well as that, we see some um, debuts out of Mitch Stitt, Sam Frost, as well as that of... Um, ben Highfield all making their debuts today in this open Ironman final. We've got a cracking race lined up for us here. We get all three of the Morris brothers in the mix there as well as yet as well as Kai Harlan who's been swimming extremely well. But the, the man himself, Charlie Verko, he's a North Bondi kid. He's back on his home beach even though he races under the Newport cap. He's going to be one to watch and one to make a big performance today. Yeah, look, there's some big names in that final. Uh, I, I honestly don't know who to go with at the moment. It's starting to go really low tide, and I know we talked a bit, we hyped him up a little bit before, but Joey Collins in, in these low tide, long transition, he's just so quick along the beach there. Ski swim board, he, we know how fast he is in that ski leg now. Uh, I think Joey Collins has got the goods to get it done today. Yeah, it's a great pick there, Paulie, and he definitely has what it takes to take a victory here. But I think you're going to have to look for the likes of a Benny Carberry or a Kendrick Louie here, some of the older statesmen that have that experience out in the surf, as well as that Matt Bevilacqua's got a real good feel about it today. I don't know. It seems like a Matt Bevilacqua-type day to me, but you can never rule out Ali Day. And I, to me, he's the one to beat. You cannot win a race without beating Ali Day. Yeah, that's... You, have, you have to beat him. And Matt Bevilacqua knows there's one thing. He, he is one of those gritty racers when his back's against the wall. There's probably arguably none better than him. He knows that if he wants to win the overall Ironman title and take home the keys to that car later in the year after the doubleheader uh, Shannon Eckstein Ironman Classic, Bevy knows this is do or die for him today. He has to win. Well, that's right. We talk about the 10,000 points and the $10,000, but the car at the end, of the end of the year for the overall series leader, this could be a $50,000 race right now. That's how important this 10,000 points could be. Someone else that's really um, impressed me over the last month and someone that's got that bit of aura, you saw him walking around the surf club before, Finney Askew, only, only a, a small fella in statute in size, but... He races extremely well out here in surf. He is phenomenal when he gets to it. And I tell you what, this is going to be a fast start because these gentlemen know how important this first ski leg is going to be because it's going to set up the entire race pulley. How important is the first leg of an Ironman? Oh, extremely important. I had a bit of a chat before uh, to Joe Collins, and I know it sounds cliche or stupid, but in this short, sharp style of racing, a summer surf format, and with the ski leg first being the most dangerous leg with the big waves, you, you're not going to win it in that race to the first can, but you can certainly lose it. And I said to Joey, and he looked at me, and he goes, I'm going all out, brother. That first ski can, he goes, I'm taking the win. So if he can get out in front, get through uh, without getting clipped by any of these big sets coming through, that's what Joey Collins' race plan is. He wants to win it to that first ski can. Yeah, I've heard plenty of cliches come out, out of your mouth before, Paulie, but never anything stupid, so don't worry about that one there. But, yes, we're going to have a very fast start. As you can see, right in the centre of the field there, watch for that. Mitch Morris, Jake Morris, the Morris brothers, they're great ski paddlers as well. It's really... I, I don't know who takes this one out. It really is up in the air, and I think there's all of 21 that could win. The big one is Benny Carberry missed the ski final. Although he was currently leading the overall series points for the ski, he missed the ski final. Arguably, that might be the thing that comes back in his favour, do you think? He rested the ski. He might have saved a little bit of bickies, a little bit of energy. He was sick a couple of weeks ago, but I watched him in his heat yesterday, and he was back to his best form. He ran around. He took the first uh, in his heat, early straight qualification into the final. Um, resting today, ski first. Benny Carberry is going to be the one that, if Joey Collins aren't taking that win to the first can, you'd almost put your house on it, Benny Carberry is. But we are away. Bums in seats. Paddles are flying. 
and the boys are into it. Matt Bevilacqua's had an absolute fly. The fact that he's beaten Benny Carberry off the beach probably tells you it all, but he's going to get met by a wave of water, and there it is over the top. It looks like Zach Morris. He is electric when it comes to these conditions. He's one of the most powerful athletes out there in the water, and this is the explosiveness that we can expect from him, and he's made an absolute fly with Finney Askew just joining on his tail. He's having a bit of a cracking day at the minute, isn't he? Zach Morris took out the win in the swim just before, but when we talk about speed off the beach from Joey Collins and Ben Carberry, Zach Morris just blew it out of the water as he rounds that first draw and partners financial services can there. He's got a two length ski lead I reckon. That's a great start to there but you can see Ben Carberry starting to work into it as is the cyborg Jackson Borg of Newport. He's going to get that turn there and on the outside I can see the black ski of Ali Day start to make his way into this. He was the champion back in 2021 when we were here. He beat you across the sand to take out the victory. You were finishing second there Pulley so you know how to race on this beach but there's a wave on for the entire field chasing down the beach on the southern side it's Joey Collins. He's going a long way down. He's going to be in icebergs by the time he finishes on that wave but he might be the only one on it Pooley. He has done an incredible job there. Joey Collins was not up the front but he hunted that wave out to the south and he's dropped onto this wave. That is not small. That is a big wave. Four are on Four and they've on. done very well to hold their ski straight. All of those boys, Joey's got a long way to run back up, but he got himself on the wave. Four on that lead wave, the field on the second wave. We've got a party out the back, and on that lead wave, it is that of Zach Morris, Jackson Borg, ja um, Joe Collins, and big bad Benny Carberry. So the four men leading from the front right now, they're going to make their way through transition, and they're going to go into that surf race. But look at the field behind. You could have all 17 left on that next field, so this race is far from over. Oh, this is on. As we have a look out the back there, I see two skis upside down. Cooper Williams and Finn Askew. We've given them the commentator's curse. But for now, out in front, it is Zachy Morris round in one. Jackson Borg in two. Joey Collins in three. Benny Carberry in four. Burley Maruchidor, Joel Piper. We've got another Newport cap there. Ali Day is in the mix. Matt Bevelak was in the mix. Noah Steiner. The, the pack is on, and they're not out of this by any stretch of the imagination. Now, nah, far from defeated right here, as we see Ali Day just went a little bit north up the beach and maybe trying to find a bit of his own water to swim in. He fancies himself as one of the best swimmers in this field, and that's because he is. And then giving the chase, though, it is that of Ben Carberry out in front with Joe Collins, Zach Morris, and Jackson Borg. So very four very capable and high-caliber athletes. And look at Cooper Williams right at the tail end of this field. He's taken a long, long way around. He's trying to make his own wave and he's just taking a bit of a gamble here isn't he yeah look you, you can't you can throw a blanket over the entire field at the moment the whole pack is so so condensed and tied in together zach morris is getting pulled in a bit of a flash rip off to the north there you can see now it's going south to north and they're going to land a little bit off center of that cans i don't think it's going to uh, make too much of a difference he's flying out in front there though yeah, Zach Morris, he's making every post to win here. He was first off the beach in that opening ski leg, and he's now leading. But Joe Collins just tucking in underneath his arm there, getting right in close, making him known that he's there, just giving him a little love tap and saying, hey, buddy, I'm just here. Don't go anywhere. Joe Collins is honestly in some of his career best form. The speed, the fitness, and the talent maturity that we're seeing time in, time again from him. He took the win at Manly the other weekend, and now he's just... Oh, sorry. He took the win in uh, Maruchidor. Wave on, Paulie. Potentially down that. The oh. two leaders, Zach Morris, Joe Collins, pull down that one. Great surf skills on offer from both the men. Can they hold it on through? It looks to me like they will just through this first gutter, and they've missed it on that second wave. So the back markers are going to get a chance here. It's going to open the door. Wave They're in the, the Jaggers back. seat. Wave out the back. Party time for everyone involved. But it's Joe Collins that's got the best of this. Now, tell me honestly, Paulie. You would hate to race Joe Collins, wouldn't you? Oh, he has just got so much speed and he's got so much confidence and he's racing with maturity now. He's going, he's 21 years old and he's going shoulder to shoulder with Ali Day saying, I see you big man, I see you go, but I'm still right here, the young Kiwi fella. Mate, I've never seen confidence like it. Hold the on, year sorry old. to interrupt you, Paulie, but we've had an unbelievable body surfing there from, I'm going to say, it's the young man, the race one golden ticket winner. Dame no. Sutton has held that from the back to the shore, and he's in a chance. Oh, sorry. Noah Big Papa Steiner. Pump, Noah Steiner, the <laughs> other Wonder Club. I thought it was the young man, but Big Papa Pump, Noah Steiner, he's led this one out. That is phenomenal body surfing skills from Steiner there of Wonder. He has been knocking on the door for so long now. Is this the breakthrough moment? He's a phenomenal... He's oh stumbles. The sniper gets him again. On. The Bondi sniper is on fire today. The Bondi sniper is taking scalps. We talked about Noah Steiner. He's almost won so many big races. He got touched out the other week by Charlie Brooks in a couple of big races and 
out of nowhere, we're sitting out there calling Joey Collins and Zach Morrison. Noah Steiner says, hey boys, I'm here. Yeah, he just snuck on through on that southern side a little bit more where that sort of that swells coming through across that bank a little bit better and he managed to get and he's got himself out in front he's got himself in a position where i think that northern side's a bit better and, a, and the water's moving a bit nicer look at a wave standing up though paulie oh duff there is some big ones on this bank that is not what he would see, be wanting to see noah would be going come on god give me an opening i want to get out here yeah, there's a chance as well for Charlie oh, Verko as the boys have to roll that one. That huge. is not what you want to do in an Ironman. Charlie Verko gets a nice little ramp. So the North Bondi local now under the Newport Club. He's there with a the chance. Zach Morris has snuck on through. And look at Ali Day. Do not rule him out. The champion doesn't lie down for long. But it's Zach Morris, Joe Collins and Noah Steiner that have made their way through that first bank. They're going to head towards those green race one cans and they're going to turn for home. And who's going to take out the victors here at the Shore and Partners North Bondi Surf Club Classic at the moment? It's Zach Morris out in front joe collins in second and noah steiner in third this is very close and i tell you what duffy all three of those boys are electric up the beach zach morris joe collins and noah steiner are so fast but the zach only thing stopping them is the bondi sniper at this point zach morris is going to turn this can he might be straight onto this oh. wave he was last year's champion joe collins gets right under his chest once again he's letting him know i'm not going anywhere buddy he's there look at wave on for noah steiner as well as get that charlie Verko is a chance wave stands up on the bank the crowd lifts and they get elated joe collins falls from the sky oh. zach morris stands up on Whoa. top and they are absolutely falling from all over bondi beach right now but it's the two Two men out in front, Joe Collins, Zach Morris. They are going to fly across this send. Both absolute whippets, but it's Zach Morris with the advantage for my mind. But Joe Collins is a dog with a bone, and he will not let it go. Who's going to be the fastest across the send? As we see the chase back there coming on that second wave. Zach Morris, Bunny Hops, Joe Collins waits. Who's got the better tactics? Who's got the better line? Who's got the most speed? It looks to me like Zach Morris is going to take this one out as Joe Collins waves a white flag. It's the Morris's day. He takes out the surf race. Now he takes out the open iron, man. Zach Morris. Morris, take a bow. What a champion. Oh. Joey Collins almost fell asleep at the wheel, and Charlie Verko almost dips him out. But it's going to be Zach Morris, the champion. Joey Collins in second, and Charlie Verko third. That was, I think, the race of the day. What about Zach Morris's board there? I don't know if the broadcast, if the TV screens for those watching at home do it justice. Zach Morris is a big boy. Those boards are 10 foot 6 in length. He dropped from the stars, and that thing went end to nose. That was a big wave. They did so well to hold that all the way to the shoreline. Great race, great finish all the way to the beach. Ty Dauka, let's hear from the man himself. He's always going to come, brother. Oh, we're down here. What about this? Take a rest. 10,000 points. $10,000. That's a pretty special one, Zach Morris. Yeah. I've, um, lately, I haven't been... Again, a few waves, but today I was lucky enough to get a few waves, and then that last ball wave almost just shot me out of the bank. Mate, talk about that wave. You went down and jammed on the back of your board, shot your board almost vertical as well. I thought a stage there, there's a chance you're going to potentially fall off it, but you held in there and then the back of the legs to finish. Yeah, I was lucky I'm a bit fatter this year. Um, didn't really throw me around as much, but yeah, well, my legs are probably twice the size of Joe's, so. One seven minus probably Joe six. What about the bloke next to you here, Joey Collins? I remember we go back three years ago. We, you're the new kids on the block. You know, come up with the professional series and the and the Shore and Partner Summer of Surf stepping up. And you know, you're the next gen. But I tell you what, you are now the gen. What a performance, Joey Collins. Talk about training week in week out with Joey Collins. Oh, never a dull moment with us two. Um, we always, if he goes a faster time in a hundred, I always ask my swim coach Rails. Well, Joe went, and then I try and go out and beat him in the next one. So we have a good family competition during training. So it just pushes us to go harder. They're like two kids in a candy store. But what about this? You are the North Bondi Surf Classic Ironman champion. 10,000 points, $10,000. What are you going to spend it on? Oh, probably save it, eh? <laughs> save it. Why not? There you go. The champ, Zach Morris. Well done, buddy. I tell you what, these Ironman athletes and Iron women athletes, they know how to uh, use their money just like Shore and Partners Financial Services. We're going to go to a quick break. We'll be back to close out the program is the open six-person mixed taplin. So stick around because the action's still to come.